Hello, living in Boulder Vlog. July 10th, I think. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Can't remember. Um, and I'm really, I smoked like the rest of my joint. I got a joint yesterday because I wanted to organize my house. And, um, and then I smoked like it twice yesterday. Um, but, um, yeah, there's a little more pickup that I have to do, but I'll finish organizing it today. I bought a bunch more stuff yesterday. Got, um, was it yesterday? Um, went in, um, to the, uh, hospital this run thrift shop on Arapaho on 55th and um, uh, bought like um, um, bought um, like uh, mugs that are all color the same color blue and then like four of those and then five bowls that are green on a plate so um kind of th threw out all the old ones and uh then bought a new i like stainless steel so because day for yesterday i got a stainless steel uh trash can so i got a, we got a stainless steel um drying rack and then a soak rug soak thing under it and then um the a new um kitchen rug this is a really thick padded one so it's cool super uh comfortable um my other one i remember when we got it, it was like five years ago or something or more um and then um New salt shaker, grater, colander that's stainless steel. And, um, yeah, I got a file cabinet thrift shop. Lots of different things that, um, and then even the leg um, booster for my new um, cabinets in the kitchen. So, uh, and then put, put everything away. Um, today we're going to, take out a bunch of more stuff and um yeah organize i think i want help organizing um it's like it's, yeah so i guess so many different ways you can do it um i want to get a new table i saw this glass table wood around the out, outer edges and then glass in the middle um but most of it's glass for like 150 bucks at the Goodwill thrift shop on Arapaho on 31st. So, 33rd. So, um, I wanted to get it then. That's when I had my van. Um, cause I like the table. It's sturdy and it's a good size, but it's like old. Um, it has a little booster on a, on the bottom and so but but beds are expensive they're like 300 bucks over at the goodwill or the thrift shop on uh baseline and broadway uh, i got um fake flowers on baseline and broadway thrift shop and for like a dollar each they look good from the outside i'm on the second floor and people below me have flowers and it looks realistic um, so, I have to pick up and organize my room. I got a cable yesterday, 50-foot HDMI cable. Um, I haven't had the time, but I want to, I got a switcher, and I want to see if I can switch between different cameras with one input in the HDMI, because that would double my capacity for cameras. Um, I wanted to put a camera in my bathroom, but also a camera, um, facing my butt, um, but I only had one, 
uh, port for that, so I got a switcher, see if it works. And then also switch between my computer and a camera. I already bought two switches and then another, and then, yeah, if, I, if those work, then I know I can do it with uh, double up on the cameras in the living room, have, a, have one facing towards the kitchen and another facing north from the living room. So if I can, as soon as I do that, I could string the thing through the wall. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to be motivated to do any of that um, streaming, like, high-tech stuff. Uh, I wanna, I'm getting motivated to ride and run. I want to ride up to, um, like, Brainerd Lake and then climb... Um, Mount Audubon, and then like try to do it on the electric bike. I wouldn't be able to do the whole thing, so I'd have to ride uh, most of it and only do the electric part on the steep parts. I don't know. Probably won't be. It'll be slower than just a usual a regular bike. If it had like double the battery charge then you could um, ride it all the way. I want to know exactly yeah, how far up you can go. It changes a lot if you get lighter and stronger, you know. Like maybe if I was like super like fit, I could do it and just put it on like the second charge but not the strongest charge. Maybe you could go all the way up with a charge. That's why I want to see what the, what the level is, how fast of a rider you have to be for it to work. Because I'm 191 pounds, and if it gets steep, it just it, it just gobbles up the juice, and um, it doesn't even really help you. So, but if you're super light, like I went with Kirsten last year, and she she barely pushes on the pedals, and she was zooming up because she's like 107 pounds. Um, and it helps a lot when you're like, like, not very steep, so. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so, because having this in your house is going to make me super, like, uh, motivated to, uh, get out and, uh, cook healthy food for myself in the kitchen and sleep um i've been i got up like early like seven or something today the secret is um um zyrtec and melatonin combo uh, i think when i was at the zyrtec um i was taking unison it wasn't helping at all but the zyrtec knocks me out and i'm even like super groggy in the morning um so uh but it's awesome. I'm sleeping. I had a dream last night that I was on a vacation, and um, I saw a movie about communists yesterday with my mom called Red Joan. It's a true story of an uh, English woman who gave the secrets to the atomic bomb from England, and then she got caught 40 years later. Um, but she was too old to throw in jail, so they just let her live. She was like 86, at least the actress was that old, but uh, she's that old now. But uh, the woman died at 95, so she, I think she lived 10 years more. But anyway, I had this dream last night that I was in this uh, town. It was like a foreign country, but it not specified. And it kind of reminded me of Vale. But, um, and then I was hanging out with some girl in some public place. These guys walked by and saw that I was talking to her, and I guess she was, like, the communist or something. So then they followed me some town to some place I was at, some building, and um, they were like, you're with her, I'm going to, like, kill you or something, you know, or something. It was, like, a big group of them, like, 10 of them or 20 of them. And I was like, some, I grabbed the guy's keys out of his pockets and threw them into a bush. So, and then ran away, and then they were looking after me. So I climbed over a fence into the building next door and told them these guys were looking after me. And 
looking for me and I could see him like hiding behind bushes and trees looking into the building. So then I called my mom, she happened to be there. <laughs> so then she came and picked me up and then she got stuck. She drove way down this like mud or something, I don't know, because I was like looking for her and then she was hanging out because we were in this place where uh, it was like this botanical garden. And um, um, yeah, and I think that's when I woke up, but huh. oh yeah, but then I think we got back in the car. We're driving back. Um, like I was able to like stay asleep to finish the dream. <laughs> like I wake up and then go back to sleep, finish the dream, I think. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, I, got, I was laying around awake for like a little bit first. So I was up at like seven, I think. So I'm totally uh, diron wise, which is totally really exciting. I haven't, I, I think it's like my second or third night back here and uh, I slept every night. I don't have insomnia. I think part of the reason I had insomnia is because I was like, um, um, I was like, just like watching, listening to music and watching random things on YouTube and not trying really and like eating, eating late and so, um, yeah, I think I have it figured out. So it's going to motivate me to get up super early and do the, start getting back, uh, riding, I think is what I want to do. Um, as far as like working on all of my computer stuff, I was naming, um, pictures, screen captures of, uh, Rome Reborn, that I was, um, the digital model they made that I can, like, examine. But, um, I think, um, I'll just, yeah, I'll just, I don't think, um, if the problem also is I was really stoned all the time, I and mean, then I think that helps and that makes me, like, only want to do one, think about doing one thing, so I'm gonna uh, not smoke any more weed. That's why I'm buying joints. Because every time I buy weed, I'm like, you know, this could be the last time. So, um, joints usually last two days for me because I'm a lightweight. But my mom hasn't detected me smoking again, so that's cool. <laughs> um, I found a bong the other day that I didn't know I had, um, this fancy one, and uh, I dipped the joint in the water to stop it. But then when I tried to smoke again, it was clogged, and it kind of takes a while to start up. So um, I just took it out and smoked in that bong. I was thinking a little bit about buying weed, but just for the bong, <laughs> it would have been stupid. But um, but now instead of like dipping it in, I also found a claw clipper. So I guess I could clip it, but I don't, I think that like, I don't know, I could conserve more if I don't clip it. But, um, and it's this claw, I don't know what it is. It's this huge claw. It's like bigger than my finger. It's like twice as long as my finger and dips down like this. But, um, I just put it back into the uh, container that they sell it in and close the container. And that asphyxiates it. So, um, yeah, but I'm super high now. So, yeah, I'm going to spend the day just listening to music and organizing, picking up and organizing my house, which takes, which with my mom, <laughs> she'll be here in like an hour. And, um,. Yeah. Oh, we're going to reupholster the, the seats, too. Uh, they have these really nice antique seats. You just unscrew them and put on new upholstery. I'm going to make it the same color as the two cou uh, couches I have in there, uh, dark blue. So, um, and then I have to buy another thing to put all of my big utensils. Anyways, that's my vlog for today. Talk to you tomorrow.